In this video, we are going to look at one of the main tools for a price action trader. We will answer the questions, what are candlesticks and what do they tell us? A candlestick is simply a visual way to represent price movements on a chart. Each candlestick represents how price moved over a certain time period. You can load your charts to display lots of different time periods. Here we are on the 5 minute time frame. Each candlestick represents what price did over a 5 minute period. If you look at this candle, it lines up with 10am at the bottom of the chart. So the candle represents what happened to price from 10am to 10.05am, a 5 minute period. Here we are on the 30 minute time frame. Each candle represents what price did over a 30 minute period. Again, if we stick to the 10am candle, we are now looking at what price did from 10am until 10.30am, a 30 minute period. Now we are looking at the 4 hour chart. Each candle represents 4 hours of price action. And finally, the daily chart. On here, each candle represents, you guessed it, one full day of price movements. So, a candlestick shows us what price has been doing over a certain time period. But what do the candles tell us? First, and easiest to spot, is if price has closed higher than it opened, or lower than it opened, over the time period. The colour of the candle helps us identify that. Green means price closed above where it opened for that time period. Red means price closed below where it opened for that time period. This candle closed higher than it opened. Price rose. This candle closed lower than it opened. Price fell. The candles also give us a lot of other useful information. The candles show us where the price opened and where it closed during the time period. The bottom of the green rectangle is where the candle opened. It is always the bottom for a green candle because we know a green candle closed higher than it opened. The top of the green rectangle is where it closed. It is always the top for a green candle because we know a green candle closed higher than it opened. For a red candle, the top of the rectangle is where it opened. We know the top is the open, because for a red candle, price has fallen over the time period. The bottom of the red rectangle is where it closed. It is always the bottom, because we know price has fallen for a red candle. Ok, great. We now know how to determine where a candle opened and closed. But during the time period, price may move much higher or lower than the open and close price. It would be useful to know how high or low price moved during the time period. This is where candle tails or pins come in. We already know how to identify the open and close prices. To identify the very highest and lowest price the market reached during the time period, we can use candle tails or pins. The very top of the tail or pin is always the highest price the market reached during the time period. The very bottom of the pin is always the lowest price the market reached during the time period. The very bottom of the pin on this candle also represents the lowest price the market reached during the time period. However, there is no tail or pin at the top. What does that mean? It means that the candle closed at the highest price the market reached during the time period. Remember, the top of the green rectangle is the close price of the candle. Let's look at a few examples on charts. Here we see the 8.20am candle on the 5 minute time frame. It is red, so the candle closed lower than it opened. In the price rectangle you can see all of the price information. The open level, close level and also the highest and lowest traded in that 5 minute period. Here we see the 2 o'clock candle on the 1 hour time frame. It is green, so the candle closed higher than it opened. Again, we can see all of the key price data in the rectangle. Here we see the 3rd of June candle on the daily time frame. It is green, so the candle closed higher than it opened. Note that there is no tail at the bottom of the candle. The open price is also the lowest price traded on this day. That was a brief introduction to candlesticks and the information we can gather from them. We can also use specific candlesticks as clues to what the market is suggesting and we will look at a couple of examples in a future lecture.